hello family welcome you to another video uh, in this video we are sharing two comparing two video of apostle johnson suleiman the restoration apostle and prophet hubert angel where they were speaking about their experience when it comes to prayer with pastor chris the man of god pastor chris they shared their experience what happened to them how they feel when they pray with the man so let's go straight to this video share subscribe like and comment on this video men of power when i go to nigeria the whole meeting is done and people peck and go home listen people peck they go home we finish maybe around 9 p.m right? and people are going home and pastor will come to us and say now we're coming back at uh, a tape for what is called sailing sailing I remember I was standing next to one of my sons in there and they had done one sailing session. And when pastor said, you can all go home and everybody's like, oh, oh, you know, they accepted to go home waiting. And he gave the announcement for the following day. And as my father gave the announcement for the following day, uh, my son elbowed me and said, Papa, hope there is no sailing. I said, ah, hope there is no sailing. Then when you finish, you know, no, not this, not these prayer points of yours that you take two minutes we pray for this no 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 pastor will say now those who are left you you and you we are now praying for america then he puts his hands behind his back like this. you can hear what he's saying over an hour I'm already on China. What am I praying for? Oh, America? All I know about America is finished. Then the next prayer request is China. I'm like, ah, I finished it. The whole world was done. Swaziland. <laughs> there are men who have a decorum in the spirit. They know the decorum in that time of silence. They know. They know what to say. And words come to them to be demand to, to demand to be spoken. So as they want to stop that prayer, the Lord gives them other avenues. They go around. And they're speaking in the spirit. You see, the problem is this. When you speak in a silent location, here is your problem. You do not visualize. So now that's Prophet Ubed Angel's experience. So now let's share that of Apostle Johnson Suleiman's experience praying with Pastor Chris. If you are new, subscribe. Bye. There's a man of God in this country who ministers, who cream his hair, perm his hair, and do all of that. And I was privileged one time to be around him to pray. And we prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed for hours. I say, hey, after praying for hours like that, nine, ten hours, serious praying. The place was shaking with singlets. Prayed and prayed and prayed. After praying, he went to go and do the hair. And I look at some people who have not prayed. They also do their hair. I look at them and I laugh. I say, don't be what people are in secret. I'm not, I'm not promoting hair or no hair. I'm just giving an illustration. Don't do what people are in public. Don't be what they are in public until you know what they do. In secret. Wow, wow, wow. That is to tell you that Pastor Chris is a man of prayer. That means the man spent his time in prayer. And so let's thank you for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, please show us love for updates like this. See you in our next video. Shalom. Bye.